Good day, everyone. Uh, this is your boy Russian. You guys don't know already. Uh, so today, as you see, it's a little bit different. And what we're going to be doing today is addressing some of the issues that is going on uh, in the platform in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to take a look on Wixwell, uh, the whole talk about the nerf. Uh, we have a new issue uh, right before. I actually started to make this video, I just watched Buzor's uh, video where he felt he had to explain to people uh, some things that came alight, etc, etc. So it's a lot for us to cover um, and hopefully I'm not going to upset anybody in the community or any other content creator because to be honest, I feel this is probably one of the best communities, uh, gaming communities I've ever been in. So. Let's get started. All right, guys, so when did all that start? So everything started really with uh, Cold Red's video complaining about some of the issues uh, in the game, dealing with Clarion, some predatorial uh, cells, etc. right? So let's take a look. This thing, uh, yes, it's been extremely hard uh, it's to the point that a lot of content creators are having burnouts, right? Uh, to the point I heard uh, a couple of videos where content creators are not going for the next fusion. Because even as a content creator with very high amount of funds, right, to go produce fusions and all, it's still too much. I mean, fusions take a lot of times. If you're making videos, it takes time for you to make videos, even if you have uh, editors and a staff that actually edit your video, etc. right? Do your thumbnails. It is a lot of time uh, to run that. Plus, a lot of the guys, if they have access to test server, they're also going to be going to the test server and run tests on new champions, seeing what's going on, all the news, etc., etc. Anyway, well, yes, it's been extremely hard. I actually commented on MTG Jedi's video, I believe yesterday, that I felt I was very lucky not to go for the five-star soul of Thor, because that allowed me to actually go for the next fusion. Yes, I did complete Thor's fusion. What I was very lucky to skip one of the events, one of the short pulling events, because then I actually ran enough to get a couple more uh, hammer points to be able to go for the soul, right? I actually got four stars and I didn't try that hard. I believe the hardest part was really Ice Golem, right on the back end. Uh, only because I was so close to the four star that I just ran to get all the points. But besides for that, everything I got, I got by just playing the game as I would every every day, right? So, yes, uh, Planner is putting too much stuff, and I feel with Dandelion Freya caused another issue, because if Planner had put Freya in the middle, uh, right in the end of Thor, or instead of this deck of faith that honestly a lot of people went for, uh, I don't think it was worth at all, but if they had put a fray on that deck of fate, people would have been more willing to spend shards and, you know, get people happy enough to maybe go for this next fusion. So, yeah, uh, that's on Plurian, it's not on the players. Now, let's address the other elephant in the room. And this has to do with Wixwell's uh, nerf. Now, I watched yesterday uh, Saf's video. One thing he said was, you know, he came up and he pointed out that line of code in the in in the game. Now, Plarian seems to have come out uh, maybe today and said, no, they're not nerfing Wixwell. Now. The whole thing is, yes, they may not be nerfing Wixwell himself, but they did not say they're not nerfing shield buffs. So, yes, it would 
not as per se the uh, nerfing works well, but it would. It in the sense that it would just nerf all shield buffs, right? Now again, this is not something that is live. I have not felt uh, any issues on my clan boss team. But why does that upset so many people? Well, Wixwell was a fusion, right? Was a, a fusion champion. And this affects mostly uh, fridge play players or low spenders, right? And it seems to be something that Theron has done a lot in the last few weeks, what is affecting fridge play. And it's a whole debate where well, they would nerf Wixwell, but they would not nerf Thunder. Yes, because most people that have Thunder, they have her because they're not fridge play players. Okay, and that's one of the biggest issues, is you're affecting the fridge play. Now, I understand the whole point that, you know, Claren needs to keep the lights on, and, you know, they uh, want people to spend more in the game. Sure, but the problem is the when you start losing your free-to-play players, as I saw in many, many games, you will end up lowering the amount of players in your game, and that will cause people that are not free-to-play to quit the game, okay? So that's another issue, but I don't think Clarion will trigger anything, at least for a while, and all gonna have to do with the backlash that they're getting. Right now, one of the things uh, a lot of people seem to forget is why is Clarion put so many events that are requiring people to really break out uh, the big bang. Right, so I was thinking about that today, and I have no proof of that. I really don't know for sure. Let me be very clear on that. Uh, but a lot of companies, uh, October is when they close their books for the year, right? Uh, it happens with the US government as well. Uh, that's pretty much what they consider the year's end. And that's what allows on in December for people to get bonuses. They will look, they'll calculate around November everything and they will dictate the bonuses for the company, right? For CEOs. Uh, whatever AOs, etc. So this could be the main reason why they're putting so many events that are making people spam to be able to be part of. Okay? That's why uh, a lot of games around this time of the year, even before you get to December, you have all those events going on. And then usually November it dries a bit, and then when it gets to the end of December, because Christmas and holidays, you see everything come back, but it does not affect bonuses or anything. Usually, it's up to like end of October. Okay. Again, I may be saying that out of my ass and have no idea how Plarian works, but it's a good speculation. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about Boozor. Um, again, nothing against the guy. I actually had probably zero interaction with him at all uh he seems to be a pretty good dude right and people were attacking him on reddit because uh one of the hell hades videos someone's able to get a snapshot of the content creator package okay so content creator package uh i actually mentioned in one of my videos i think that, that was the only video i ever talked about it i don't get one and a lot of people don't get one okay you have to have really high numbers even if you get the first tier, and even if you do, like Cold Red, for example, you may not get it. Player may not give to you. Okay? So, uh, one of the things is, uh, the reason I'm mentioning Cold Red on that is, uh, I remember Jay Giggs, great guy as far as I can tell, uh, had very little interaction, but did have some with him. Um, when Cold Red mentions that he's not on the content creator program, he actually said, well, you don't have to be. And that's a problem. That's what is going on with Boozor, right? Uh, because he's a free to play, but he gets a huge amount of 
energy gems books per week okay and that's the thing yeah you don't have to be but it helps even on my low spender account and definitely on my free to play accounts it really hurts i can six i can six star every single champion using struggling a bit but using the energy uh i get daily uh you know, uh, running, using my jams, whatever. But I still cannot book my champions. So a lot of times that's what happened with free to play players. You really have to be careful with what you're gonna build, right? So Buzor, uh, he defend himself and yes, people should not be giving this guy a hard time. Okay, uh, hate the game, not the player. All right, all right hate the player not game whatever it is but don't hate this guy because yes he was offered then any player in the world would take it okay now does that kind of like lower uh how people see his free to play content i guess uh that's that's actually very hard because yes uh He's free to play, and, and that was a problem I had with his video. Uh, he says, well, but I'm still free to play, I still don't spend. True, but you do get, if you put down pen and paper, you do get probably about close to 100, maybe, let's say like $69 worth of uh, resources every week, right? Maybe a little less, $59.99, whatever. So, but he's still free to play, don't take me wrong. I do agree, uh, one of the things he said he's gonna start doing his videos is put a disclaimer to let people know that he gets his package. Again, this package is not something that Clarion wants people to know. Now, I knew for a long time, because if you search on the internet, you will see the perks of being a content creator and kind of affiliated with Clary, even if you're not affiliated, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I, I was kind of like not really sure hearing what he was saying, but I understand his position. He did not start as a content creator uh, when he started his channel, well, not in the program when he started his channel. So he started as a free to play, completely free to play, no perks, no anything. And he was given an incentive. Uh, so I'm not going to condemn and a lot of pretty much a lot of your content creators their free to play accounts if they get thousands of views a week or at least a thousand or so views per video a week and they have a few thousand subscribers I think the numbers were for the day, I, I don't know how much they changed, but they're like a thousand, ten thousand, and sky's the limit, whatever. Uh, that's how they divide the tier. So if your creators have this, they probably get the content creator perks, okay? So, but should you hate on them? No. But I feel that's the biggest problem going on right now is people are so upset at the game that they're trying to focus their anger in who they can, okay? So, Plarian will not answer you uh, when you have grievance. So, what you do is you point at content creators. And I can see people giving hate to a lot of the guys, uh, and it's really not the case, okay? Um, honestly, it's something that's gonna be happening. Um, player will not change. And the end of the day, it is a game. I am going for the new fusion because I didn't spend my shards. So, hoorah! Right? Uh, this guy looks sweet. I guess uh, gonna be interesting, or at least I'm gonna have fun doing what I usually do. Okay? Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about all those controversies. Jesus. That's why I felt like today I'm. Playing the game without playing the game, I am. Uh, I ran my basic quests uh, that I had to run anyway, the dailies, and pretty much I have a RSL helper running one of my older accounts 
one of my preacher plays that I haven't touched for a while, just, you know, leveling some champions, uh, getting some missions done. So, besides for that, watch movies and hear talking to you guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great end of the day. And as always, I'll see you in the game.